Welcome back to Demon Slayer Gamer Channel. We're going to be continuing our Final Fantasy XIV Dungeon Guide series today. We're going to be taking a look at the normal raid, Eden's Gate Resurrection. This will be the first of the Shadowbringer normal raids. And in here you'll be going against Eden Prime. Now when you first pick Eden Prime up, you will want to make sure that you're facing him away from the group as he does have a few cone abilities. Spear of Paradise is going to be his tank buster that you'll want to use a cooldown to help reduce the damage some. It does hit the tank twice. He'll follow this up with Eden's Gravity, which is going to do party-wide damage that you'll need to heal through. After this, he'll do Vice and Virtue. This is going to mark four party members with a AoE that they will want to spread out around the platform. After the AoE goes off, it will leave a residual pull on the ground that you'll want to move out quickly. Otherwise, you will be affected by a heavy effect. And then you will need to immediately move under the boss for Eden's Flare. He'll then use Vice and Virtue again, this time targeting both tanks with a large line AoE, so make sure you're moving away from the rest of the group, before casting Spear of Paradise again for another tank buster. When he teleports to a side of the room and begins casting Pure Light, everyone will want to run and get behind him as quick as possible, while making sure that you're not touching the outside of the platform, When he is done casting Pure Light, he'll shoot an AoE across the entire portion of the platform that he is looking at, causing significant damage to anyone who is caught by it, and then go to the center of the platform, casting Delta Attack, which will put a circular AoE on all party members, along with a circular AoE under the boss, and a line AoE in the northeast, south, and west corners of the platform. He'll then go to the center of the platform and cast Dimensional Shift, which will do a bit of party-wide damage and change the platform. At this time, he'll cast Pure Beam, which will cause the white orbs on the platform to begin emitting line AoEs that you'll need to dodge. During this time, there will also be circular AoEs on the platform that you'll have to avoid, and Eden will go to one portion of the platform and begin casting Pure Light. So while dodging all of the line and circular AoEs, you'll be trying to make your way to get behind him. He'll then go back to the middle of the platform, casting Dimensional Shift again for more party-wide damage. And then cast Fragor Maximus, which is going to be the phase change. This will cause two adds to appear on the platform, each appearing inside of a proximity AoE marker. So you'll want to move away from these. And then you can tank both of these adds together, but you'll need to burn them down as quick as possible. They both have frontal cone AoE, so make sure that you're pointing them away from the group and not stacking them on top of each other so both tanks are getting cleave. So if they're mildly pointing in different directions like we have them here is good. They can also cast Mana Burst, which will do party-wide damage. After both of them are dead, then you'll just group up in the middle and be ready to heal up after taking the hit from Eden Prime.
Aiden will then come back to the platform and immediately cast Vice and Virtue on the tanks. So the rest of the group will want to move away from the tanks so they're not hit by these line AoEs. And follow it up with the Spear of Paradise tank buster. And then move to the side of the platform and cast Pure Light so you'll want to get behind him one more time. I'll go back to the center of the platform, casting Delta Attack. Before then casting Dimensional Shift. And hopefully around this time you'll be completing the fight, so that should be it for Eden's Gate Resurrection. I hope this helped everyone out. If it did, please make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.